Welcome to my channel, Jess Rella. If you have been here before or if this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Y'all, today is my one year Surgiversary. So in other terms, this is my one year anniversary of my VSG surgery, weight loss surgery. So I wanna just talk about this past year in review. So if you are interested in hearing about my one year post-op, then stay tuned. Let's get into stats. So. The day that I admitted myself into the hospital to get weight loss surgery, I was at 380 pounds. Today, I sit here at 300 pounds. I've lost 80 since surgery. I lost 29 during my pre-op phase, which was a four month process. So I have lost a total of 109 pounds. I was actually at 113 and I went up a little bit, but I'll get back there. If you've been in this journey or you just know how weight loss works, period, you go up and down, up and down. You'll go great, you gain some, you lose it again. And that has been my entire journey for the past year. It's been a whole lot of big losses, a little bit of gains, big loss, a little bit of gains, but you know what, you just go with it. Different things can affect your weight, water, salt, all those things, so I don't sweat it. My goal was to be at 100 pounds post-op, so I was 20 pounds shy of that but I'm so proud of my progress. I would never have it any other way. I'm okay with being a slower loser as long as I've been losing. And you know, our all of our journeys are different. So today, I honestly just spent it looking at videos, pictures, old YouTube videos, um, and just looking at how far I've come. And I've done that a lot during this process, but I think it was important today because this is a milestone. Um, I cannot believe the past 12 months have went by as fast as they have. It feels like I blinked my eyes and now here I am at the one year mark, but I worked hard. Um, the mental struggle has been a struggle. Uh, the food addiction has still been a struggle, but I have managed to push through no matter what. I have adopted a uh, fitness journey, which I'm so proud about. I'm actually now eight months into my fitness journey of consistent working out, building muscle, um, burning fat in that way. Um, and I do think that if it wasn't for me working out and exercise, I probably wouldn't have met, you know, gotten to the point of losing 80 pounds because the food monster is a beast. I just wanted to just talk to y'all real quick and just let you know some of the things that I've learned during this past year. The biggest thing I can say that I learned in this past year is to not be so hard on yourself. Um, I compared myself a lot. I would see other people and like kind of look for people who had the surgery the same time I did or even after me. And it would discourage me when I would see that they have lost way more than I did. But you have to kind of come out of that and realize that this journey is what you make it. And your body is yours, your journey is yours, and you're gonna to get to wherever you wanna to get to if that's what you want. Now for me, I think in my head I was thinking, okay, a year, you know, the doctor tells you, you know, they want you to lose as much weight as possible in that first year. This is your honeymoon period. But for me, it's not been a honeymoon period. It has been a struggle for me the entire time as far as my self-control and my discipline and making the right food choices. I can tell you that I eat 80% clean. Um, I take my lunch every day. I do intermittent fasting. Um, I'm, I'm getting my protein goals, you know, but I do snack. I do have food here and there that's not ideal. That's my journey. Now, there are probably some food police that'll be like, oh my God, I can't believe she is admitting that she eats all this crap. And I do, but I'm nowhere near I used to be. Um, I have come so far. I've accomplished so much mentally and emotionally that you know what, I'm gonna take this journey in stride. It's gonna be slow and steady wins the race for me. I'm gonna get to my goal. I'm actually only 50 pounds from my maintenance goal. Um, and that's huge for me. And I know that I'm gonna get that actually sooner than later because I know what to do. This whole year has been the trial period. It's been finding out what works for me. I know my body more, you know, better than I've ever known it. I know when I'm losing weight, so weird, little sidebar. When I'm peeing a lot, I typically always end up losing weight. Like typically I can get on the scale within two days. And I know that if I'm peeing like every single hour, one, I've increased my water intake. So we're flushing out the salt and I'm always losing weight. I'll, that's how I was like, oh, I, that's a lot. Yeah, I'm losing weight. 
and it's always been right. So you just learn your body in this process. You're learning what your new normal is, what you can tolerate, and you're going to be fine. Um, another thing is expectations of other people. Um, I was just on live on Instagram. I've never gone live before. I was talking to girls I've been talking to for a little bit and it was just so dope. It just made me so happy. I was nervous to get on live. I've never been on there before. And it just felt good to have people enter like the chat and talk to me and stuff. And I wanted to achieve that. I wanted to be more personable with the people who I follow and who follow me, my weight loss friends. Um, but uh, the expectations that you put on other people you know, you can't expect everybody to be happy for you because that's just not the reality. You can't expect for people who did you wrong or men who you felt rejected by to come back and like profess their undying love. Or you can't expect to like all of a sudden meet the love of your life. All the things I talked about on my life. Um, in this process, I don't know. I just I always had these expectations when I lost weight that the skies would part and the sun would come out and everything I've ever dreamed of and ever wished for would happen magically because I've lost weight. That is not the reality of this. Um, this journey is all about you, about you finding yourself, healing yourself, um, getting healthy, taking better care of yourself, creating new amazing habits um, that are going to last you for a lifetime. So if you had expectations for like life to just all of a sudden get better, oh, this will happen when I lose weight. You know, if I look like this, this is gonna, you know, take place in my life, you're gonna be disappointed. And I've been disappointed, you know. I, you know, automatically equated losing weight, oh, I'm more attractive. So I'm going to attract a different type of guy and I'm gonna have a booming dating life. And none of that has happened. And I've had to come to that harsh realization that perhaps it wasn't just the weight. It was just how I felt about myself and how I've carried myself and how I've had this wall up and, you know, closed people out. And that's been a part of my journey too. Um, and you also can't expect people to be happy for you. Again, like you expect to see some people that you haven't seen in a long time or family members and you think they're all going to gush over you and compliment you. Half the time they don't because... I don't know, jealousy rears his ugly head and you really see how you really see who people are in this journey. I've been fortunate enough to not lose any friends during this process. I've also made awesome friends during this process. Um, I can't say that that, want, that may not change, you know, as I'm stepping into the, you know, past the one year post-op, losing more weight, killing shit, getting more tone, building my muscle. You know, people may feel a certain kind of way about that, but I can't stop my shine for anybody. I have hid in the shadows for far too long and I'm not doing that shit now. Most of all, I gotta tell you that this journey is about self-love. I have learned to love myself so immensely, so intensely that I can't be shaken by anything. Just the way that I feel in my body, the way that I carry myself, the way that I think of myself is so beautiful that I would not have gotten this had I not had my surgery. Um, this surgery saved my life. It is saving my life. Um, life is beautiful because I've, I've decided to see it that way. You know what I'm saying? I've decided like, okay, this is this journey. I, I did this for a reason. This was a huge undertaking. This wasn't no easy decision. It took me 10 years to get to this point. So I'm going to make the best out of it. And I'm telling you, I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'm the most just, my spirit is bright. And I have to thank my doctor and I have to thank God for bringing me to this path and for me making um, this decision. I've been able to check off a lot of non-scale victories. That's huge. If you've seen one of my other videos, you've seen me talk about how I had a list in my phone of all the things that I could do once I lose weight. I had, I had a lot of things on there. I don't know, maybe about 40, 50 things. I literally have about 10 things left on there. Um, and that's beautiful in itself. So if I would give any advice to anyone going through this process, take lots of pictures and write. Journal like a motherfucker. Write down the things that you want to do, what you want to accomplish. When you feel yourself getting shaken, when you fall off your path, you go back to that. You look at those pictures and I guarantee you're going to be right back up. You're going to get right back on that horse and keep going because this journey never ends. And that's the huge thing about this is that this one year post-op is amazing for me, but this is still just the beginning for me. I am choosing a different life um i'm choosing a different way i'm choosing to think better to feel better to make better choices because this is a lifelong decision and for those of you who are in your post-op hell even you in your pre-op be proud of yourself
I got to tell y'all that I've had so many moments where I've cried tears of joy. Um, it's still weird for me to look at pictures. I take a lot of before and after pictures and I just put one, I did a little, a little collage. I do a lot of the collages, right? So I just did one of those. Um, and the first picture was from like 10 months ago. And then this other one was from last week and looking at it blows my mind. You can go on my Instagram and see it. I posted it um most recently today actually I posted it today and I just look at it in awe and in amazement and I just can't believe that I've done this that I've achieved this and the fact again the fact that I'm not even done like I can do anything that I want to do I can achieve anything that I want I can look how I want to look I can feel how I want to feel I never knew that it was all in my control and that I could choose something different if I wanted to and I did so happy one year anniversary to me. I also just turned 34 in Thanksgiving. So all of these beautiful highlights and milestones, you know, are getting me at the end of the year. And I'm just proud. And more than anything, I just want to thank y'all for supporting me. I want to thank you for clicking that button, hitting that subscribe, watching my videos, following me on Instagram. I mean, y'all don't understand what this journey has done for me, it has given me far more than I ever imagined. When I went into this a year ago, I didn't think about starting a YouTube. I didn't think about starting a separate Instagram and sharing my story and talking to women and encouraging them and them telling me that I inspire them. Or y'all tell me you inspire, I inspire you and you know, you're proud of me and you look great. I never thought I would get all of this out of me making one decision to change my life and you all have changed my life. I'm so grateful and I am so humble. And I want you to know that I don't care how big my following gets, you can always talk to me. I'm always gonna be available. I just, it's 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 a weird moment that feel like it's real. Like when someone's like, wow, like talking to you, I feel like I'm talking to like a celebrity. I'm like, what the hell? I got like 400 subscribers, what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, Clearly, I'm making an impact on somebody's life. And when I started to do this, I just wanted to help one person. I was like, if I only ever have one subscriber, that would be enough for me. But you all have exceeded my expectations. Um, I love talking to y'all. And I don't think I can say thank you enough. I, I really can't. Um, but this has been life-changing and beautiful. And I just can't wait to see where God has taken me next. And I appreciate you all so much. And I just hope that within your journey that you find yourself, um, that you learn to love yourself and that you just start expecting nothing but the best for you and that you raise your damn standards no matter who it's with and that you know your worth. And if it takes this journey to get you there, then it's all worth it. So I'm gonna get off of here before I start crying because I got time. So once y'all follow me, please on Instagram, my personal page is just Rella. Um, no, sorry. My weight loss page is just Rella XO. My regular page is Ariel J XOXO. Please like, share, and subscribe. Share this video. Show a friend who will show a friend. I'm so close to 500 subscribers. I can taste it and I'm hungry right now. So there's that. <laughs> um, but thank y'all for watching. I truly love you. And I can't wait to like really connect with you all. I'm going to do more lives. Um, I was telling the girls on my live today that I want to do a retreat one day where we all get together and we just meet and have like an amazing weekend. We have a community within the weight loss community because sometimes you can feel like you're kind of drowned out in the crowd. And there's a couple of like extra special people who are highlighted and everybody else is just kind of doing this. And I've been there. I'm kind of there still, but I know that what's for me is for me and no one can take that away from me. And I'm building an organic following and everything that is meant for me, God is going to make sure I see that. And I just have to keep believing in myself. Um, but m the purpose of me doing these videos is because I want to inspire. I want to heal. I want to help heal people. I want to inspire people. I want to change, you know, people's perspective on bariatric surgery. I want to get out there and tour and get in with the people and just build a loving family with y'all. That's that's what I want to do. And I'm working on a lot of things. And sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get done, but I know it'll happen. But anyhow, I'm done rambling because y'all know I talk too damn much. I love y'all and I thank you and have a good night. And I will see y'all soon. Bye.